so it is another new dragon hatching time in DML. Feels like all that we've been doing recently is hatching new stuff, but I am not against that. So this is the Clover Dragon, which is the current dragon of the week. We got pretty lucky and managed to get him decently quick, so we'll go ahead and hatch this guy. Another epic dragon to add to our collection here. So, looking to improve your luck in battle? Pick the Clover Dragon, it's an excellent fighter. And just in case you were wondering, I don't think it actually gives any in-game stat boost to, like, luck. So in terms of how much damage you do or anything, it's just, you know, the description. So don't take it too seriously. So this is a plant light earth dragon, not a late game dragon, but a cool little guy nonetheless. I mean, the colours, I love them on this clover dragon. Because there's just such a massive contrast between its body and the rest of it, so... That is dragon number 343 unique on this account, and then we have like another 12 or so unique on our Android, so we're, we have around about 360 uniques now, which ain't too bad. Ain't too bad at all. So little baby Anda, maybe we should call it Andrus. <laughs> I don't even think that would fit, would it? Like, does that fit? Oh my god, it does. There we go. That's the first thing I thought of as soon as I saw that name. There we go. We got a little baby Andrus here now. <laughs> That's so cute, actually. But again, that bright purple body and everything, along with the face. And if you look right in its eye, it has a little love heart as its, like, pupil. Like, how adorable is that? Who has a love heart in their pupil? No one else but you, lovey. Actually, I think a couple of dragons do. But whatever, we'll be leveling him up, and I think we'll level him up to the same level as our Glamorous Dragon earlier. So let's pop him up to level 16, so we can use him in fight. And look at that glorious hairdo. Well, it is a clover, so technically not hair, but it's hair to him. No, it's just covered in little love hearts and everything, so a really cool looking dragon overall. Although the neck's kind of weird there, but I do like it. I like quite a lot of the recent dragons that we've been hatching, actually, so, you know, the combination to breed this guy is obviously the Seed and War dragons. Done the whole breeding guide shebang with it. So, if you're still trying to breed the Clover, I hope you get lucky soon and manage to get it as soon as you can. And we should have confirmation on what the new Dragon of the Week is going to be tomorrow. So, um, I guess stick around for that and we'll find out whether we're going to get another new dragon of the week or not which should be pretty cool but anyway i did say we were going to take him on a quick fight and then after we do this fight here i did want to show kind of a a cool little game that i think was it realm keeper showed me a little while ago but uh, i did have quite a lot of fun with it so we'll take a look at that in a little bit but anyway there's vox and where is our little Clover Dragon. There's Andrus. And then who else should we use today? Another around about level 16, 17. Um, whatever. How about our Treasure Dragon here? He's a cool guy. I can appreciate him. But this Glamorous Dragon looks so cute. The Clover Dragon looks kind of nifty. And the Treasure Dragon also looks pretty swanky. If I do say so myself. And of course, we're going to have the Pattaya Dragon to hatch as well. So, oh, new dragons galore in DML. Holy mama. Can you imagine how many dragons we'd have by now if I bought all the bundles over time? Because I could have bought them. I just choose not to. But can you imagine? We probably have over 400 unique species by now. Almost definitely. So where the heck would we house them? That's a good question. I have absolutely no idea. No idea where I'd put them. We already have like... I think I had a look through and we have a grand total of two spare spots in like random void and light habitats now. So we really, really don't have an awful lot of space. So um, I'm getting kind of antsy about that. Super giga antsy, in fact, because I don't want to get back to that stage where we're running out of space again and we have to hoard all of these dragons for another eight months. Please, no. Please prevent that from happening. 
DML development team. I would, I would be very, very grateful if you could do that. But anyway, we'll get this fight here done, and then I'll go and show you the thing I wanted to show you. Again, I really like that even three years, well, three years and five months into this game, people are still coming out with cool little games and DML-themed stuff, even to this day. Because, I mean, a lot of games, they come out and then they sort of die out really quickly after release. So, stuff like Kingdom Come Deliverance, other single-player games, just that one in particular really died off quick. So, you know, seeing games still around and still doing their thing like three years later, it's a, it's a cool sign. I can appreciate that as well. Anyway, we should be... I, I am so behind on the event stuff on PC, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. So, thing that I wanted to show was on the DML Planner website. Oh god, wrong, wrong button. So, if you've ever seen this website, I've looked at it before. So, it basically lets you calculate the amount of food needed for you to level up your dragons, temples, and random stuff. And I think that this site's being worked on, but... They have a 2048 DML version. So I'm not sure how many of you have played 2048 before. Maybe if we zoom in a little bit this will be better. Maybe 110 is fine. But it tells you how to play this game here. You can see the DML elements are on here. So use your keyboard's arrow keys to move elements around. When two identical elements touch, they merge into a higher one. Can you reach the divine element? And so... A lot of people have been saying that this game is rather difficult, but you'll see if I click right, everything will move right. And if you put two fire together, it turns into wind. If you put two wind together, it turns into earth. If you put two earth together, it turns into water. And so you just keep going and keep going endlessly until you die, is essentially the idea. So I'm not just going to sit here and play 2048 for like the entire day but you know if you're interested then make sure you check it out i will leave the link either in the description or the comment section because sometimes i don't know what it is but if you put links in the comment section it sort of explodes and by that i mean it just doesn't load in for whatever reason which is kind of annoying but again cool game if you're liable to get addicted to really simple puzzle games it's probably not a game I would suggest for you to to play because you don't want to be wasting your life playing games like this because it can get rather addicting from what I've heard but you know go ahead check it out and uh, you know kudos to uh, Gabriel Cerulli for the creator of 2048 and whoever put this together you know again I just like the the little things the little things in life like, it's such a simple idea, just adding DML elements to make, you know, DML players sort of interested, but, you know, I appreciate that. So, anyway, that's my little throw out there for a little bit of that. Um, there's, like, never anything interesting going on with the card piece dragons anymore. Like, never. I don't know what the deal is. Four times the chances? Holy! Whoa! I mean, we already have a piggy bank dragon. I'm still considering, should I just hatch all of these dragons one day? Like, all the excess ones that I have? I hate seeing all of these not available signs. Like, look, pipe, armor, kitty, griffin, revelry. Look at how long this list is! He just throwing it in my face that we don't have any of these divines. I get it, game. We actually got like 42 pieces for the Poseidon. That's actually not that bad. Not two shabs. But anyway, you know, these are our lost opportunities. Imagine if we got all of these dragons as well, like we paid for the divine chess. Oh god, we'd have so many different species of dragon. I mean, our codex just overall, there's so much. And if we do it by rarity, I, I love looking through the codex, because you can see how many commons you have, how many uncommons. There's like no uncommons in this game, by the way, if you've never noticed. Like, there's a ton of commons, there's like no uncommons, there's quite a few rares, but then there are tons and tons and tons of epic dragons. Then we have some legend, then we have some boss, 
and then we have all of these epic limited times, some legendaries, and we have the little Apollo dragon, which we are yet to see. So, you know, in the no in the new update, I think they added, oh, I don't know, something like 13 dragons or something. So there are 13 new dragons down here that we have never seen before. We don't know what they are yet. So hopefully Gameloft announces what they are soon. But, you know, again, having an epic dragon is actually less rare than having a rare dragon. Because there are just so, 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 so many epics in the game. They do look cool, and of course they're stronger than their rare counterparts, but... Oh, there's too many. Far, far too many. But, you know, let me know how many dragons you have, and, uh, you know, any dragons that you think might be coming in the next update. We have no idea, but, you know, nothing wrong with speculating as long as you're not saying, Hey, these are real dragons that are gonna come out. Like, I don't know, maybe a spoon dragon, um... Uh, I was going to say a cake dragon, but we already have the bunt dragon, so I doubt that's going to be a thing. But, you know, keep throwing your ideas out there. We'll see. Does anyone guess it right? Who knows? But anyways, for now, you know, good luck with all your DML stuff. And until the next time I see you, have fun.